Let me guess. You got one of these ads for the bearskin hoodie that's like, this is the last hoodie you're ever gonna need to buy. And in the last few weeks, I must be seeing these ads like every single day. And it got me thinking, what's all the fuss about? Well, there's only one way to find out. I got a bearskin. <laughs> yeah, bearskin. Okay, so let's take a look at the hoodie behind the ads. First of all, I've always wanted to know something about this. Bearskin? Bearskin? <laughs> Is that how they want us to pronounce it? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, it's nice enough packaging, no problem there. Looks like uh, there's a few cards. Oh, that's a sticker, that's nice. What else we got in here? Got a QR code, another 20% off. Ah, and there she is. A real bearskin in the flesh. Surprisingly heavier than I thought it would be. Okay. Ooh, no, no. That's made from fleece and there's a, a lot of it. Now, I've done my research on what they say about this hoodie and it's made from 330 gram bearskin fleece. So, okay, that must be 330 grams per square meter because this definitely weighs a lot more than that. And boy, is this thing warm. Okay, so let's see how long I can uh, wear this indoors before it gets too hot and sweaty inside with these lights. Whew, okay. So besides just being a hoodie, this thing has a lot more features than your standard hoodie out there. I guess that's why Bearskin are calling it the ultimate outdoor hoodie. Now let's take a look at why. So I know this thing has got like 12 pockets and we'll take a look at those later, but let's just take a look at this material first. Okay, so the outside is super soft and again, a lot thicker than you'd imagine. Feels pretty smooth, but pretty solid at the same time. It's soft as a bear's fur coat. Anyway, the inside of these pockets are lined with some sort of velvety type material. It's super spacious inside. Oh man, does it feel kind of nice in there too. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys was this insulation design that they keep going on about, which basically refers to these rubber adjustable cuffs and the elastic waistband right here and the adjustable hood <laughs> and this thick piece of material right here behind the zip that they call a storm flap. Okay, am I insulated yet? Okay, wow, that's almost way too warm inside. Sheesh. Okay, I get it. This feels insanely warm and comfortable. And let me tell you, I did try this out outside now that the weather has got a bit colder. And just as soon as you cinch up the waist and especially the Velcro cuffs, you can seriously feel how this thing blocks the wind and cold and keeps the heat tucked inside your body. And of course, if you have any Velcro patches you wanna wear, you can stick them on either side of the sleeves on these morale patch areas. Now, I'm not normally a person who likes morale patches and everything, but I thought it was really cool to have them here. So, I just bought one from the Bearskin store to show you guys. <laughs> now let's dissect these 12 pockets. First of all, there is an insane amount of pockets and I have no idea where half of them even are, but Let's take a look. On the outside here, we have these two waist pockets, nice and solid. I do like the zips on all of these because there's one thing I hate. It's having pockets that are just open the whole time. What's even the point of that? That's not a pocket, that's just a, a hole in your hoodie. <laughs> anyway, so we got these two arm pockets and this chest pocket too, which is a lot deeper than I imagined. Perfect for my sunglasses as this nice velvety stuff on the inside protects them from getting scratched and stuff. So that's one, two waist pockets, three chest and four and five on the arms. Oh yeah, and there's this massive pocket at the back with two entrances. I guess they call it a hunter's pocket or pass-through pocket, whatever it is. I've been kind of using it to store my gloves because I like that if I'm wearing a backpack, I can kind of just reach around on either side and grab my gloves or just stuff them back in there without having to take off my bag at all. So that's six pockets on the outside. Let's take a look inside. 
And okay, it looks like there's an inside zip pocket that matches every zip pocket on the outside. Plus, there's a drop pocket behind each one of these zip pockets too. And I know I said I hate pockets without zips, but I guess if they're inside pockets, that's fine because they're close to your body. And then you can kind of do that thing that people do with their sports jackets when they look all fancy and grab their wallets or phone from the inside of their jacket like this. Hello? Okay, so that's six zip pockets on the outside and three zip pockets on the inside with three of these drop pockets on the inside. So that adds up to 12 pockets. That's kind of crazy. And you wouldn't be able to tell from the outside just by looking at it. You could literally store a whole picnic basket of goodies inside this thing. I mean, look, I'm not gonna be using all of these pockets all of the time, but it's kind of nice and reassuring to know that they're there. Like a pocket insurance policy. Let's get into sizing. So, I'm five foot 10 and uh, 170 pounds. This is a medium. I usually wear a size medium t-shirt and I have two different sizes in bearskin hoodies. So we'll try them both and compare. I would recommend though that if you're in doubt, rather go one size down because there's a slight risk that a big size might look too baggy. For example, this large. But it also depends on how you wanna use it, right? If you're gonna be wearing this as an outer layer with loads of stuff beneath, definitely go a size up. And if you're gonna be wearing this hoodie alone without anything else, maybe go a size down for a nice flattering fit. I don't know, there's a size chart on the site. Take a look and figure it out for yourself. Now, of course, I live here in the South in Alabama and it only got cold enough in the last few weeks to really try it out. And I did, and they did a really great job. I don't know exactly how it would perform maybe in Colorado or Wisconsin or whatever, but here in the South, when it was cold, I tried it and it was very nice. All these drawstrings are great to have if you want to block out the wind. They're in the perfect spots and they're pretty easy to control and manage. So, final thoughts. Look, it's a hoodie. It's a damn good hoodie. But is it the last hoodie you're ever gonna buy? I guess that's up to you and how many hoodies you like to buy? I don't know. If you're like a, a hoodie person who owns 12 hoodies, maybe you need more hoodies. But for me, I kind of love this. I love this collar and how it pops up to block a bit of the wind on your neck. I love the hoodie itself. And uh, it's got this little brim there. Maybe keep a little bit of extra rain from your face. I love the back length. It's, uh, it's a little longer, so no more risk of that dreaded plumber's crack. <laughs> It really works for me, and the medium fits great. Usually with this design, mediums are usually a little bit bulky and the larges are way too large. So, let's compare the medium and the large. This medium fits great without any additional bulk. The chest feels tailored and not too tight. If you're my size and you're not layering, this fits great. Now, the large is in gray, and even here with the extra room, I thought it looked and felt great. It helps that this is a hoodie and it doesn't have to look too dressy. So it doesn't have to fit exactly tailored to your body. There's obviously more room in the chest and length with a large, but it doesn't swallow me whole or feel too big on me. All right, now let's talk about drawbacks. But honestly, I don't have any to discuss. Their advertising is more for a tactical audience, but I don't think this hoodie is necessary tactical itself. I see it more like an awesome outdoor hoodie for camping, stuff like that. I think if they added more colors, they could really expand their reach beyond just the tactical community. I also didn't see any other type of jackets on their site, just a bearskin for men. Oh, okay. I see they just added a bearskin for women. Ooh, and a cool looking sleeveless option here. And these, wait. Bearskin sweatpants? Oh, I need that. Oh, I'll let me some good solid sweatpants. Looking at the main website page here again, it seems there's a 60% off discount now for Black Friday, but also last time I checked, there was 60% off. Seems a bit weird, but I guess I'm not complaining. Okay, back to the drawbacks. They say this is made for four seasons, but I don't find that to be the case at all, especially not down here in the South where it can get really warm in the summer. 
This is definitely good for the colder months in fall and winter. And in terms of the branding, this would usually be a drawback for me to have a massive logo on the outside of the jacket. But here, the logo is kind of minimal. It's the same color as the hoodie itself, so it's there, but it doesn't stick out. And I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. So yeah, I guess my drawbacks are pretty limited. I don't think there is any real major deal killers here. I think if you're looking for a great outdoor hoodie, this is really something to look out for. And look, I know there's a lot going on here, but to be honest, I just love the way it feels on me. And sometimes that's all you need, right? In a lot of ways, the design of this reminds me of maybe an outer shell that someone might use in the wintertime to keep out the snow and rain from the bottom layers. It has that kind of soft shell look, but with fleece and it adds a lot more functionality than you would get in a regular hoodie. I think it could be great for maybe camping or something like that, but also just wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you have a guy out there who really likes tactical stuff, who really likes the patches and that type of thing, I think this could be great for them. I had to wear this, of course, for testing, for the review, and after I reviewed it and everything, I wore it surprisingly more than I thought I would. I reached for it a lot it kind of became that no-brainer hoodie that you just grab out of the closet and you know it's gonna be reliable and do the job. I think this is a fair deal. And I think you're getting a lot of hoodie for the money here. Again, this is a hoodie that really surprised me and I wasn't expecting to have so much to be surprised about. So, is this the last hoodie you'll ever need? Probably not, but is it a damn good hoodie with adjustable parts that block the wind and loads of pockets? Yes. Yes, it is. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you next time.